New Star 5, covering the country. Now from Fairway Sports World in Natick, our defending champions Mike Morrill of Natick and Jack Ray of Woburn will take on the challenge of Bob Moran of Bill Ricca and Mike Poland of Hudson, New Hampshire on Candlepin Doubles. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Leary. I hope you all had a very happy holiday. Let's hope our bowlers didn't make too many trips to the dessert table around holiday time and see if they're all ready to get at it here today and maybe pay off for some of those Christmas presents. $500 goes to the winning team, remember. $300 goes to the losers. And for any combination of marks, three or more, an extra $50 in bonus money, three strikes in a row worth an extra $1,000 in bonus money. And if our bowlers should hit for two strings, a total of $275 or more, there's an extra payoff of $100. And over the last month or so if you've been watching you know that we've been able to do that a number of times so let's see if we have another one in us as we get underway Bob Moran now will start it out for the challengers. Bob is married, the father of seven sons. Bob says it's an adventure around the Moran household around holiday time with all those guys. Mike Morrill starts with a 10. And Bob takes seven. We're looking for our first mark here. Still looking. Bob has a high single of 200, high triple of 497, and a 122 average. Two pin difference after a couple. We've had some great bowling in the last couple of weeks. A number of teams being able to either exceed the 275 mark or get close to it as Mike strikes in the third. with a good shot at spare. The two, seven, and eight. If he's right on the two, that wood should take out the seven. No, nope, a little wide, but he gets it anyway. So we have matching marks in the third. 29 plus a couple of bonus balls for Mike Morrill. And 27 plus one for Bob Moran. now working on the spare. So Mike adds nine to the strike, 38 through three. Bob Moran with six on the spares at 33 through three.
five pin difference, 47 42. Yeah. And another strike by Mike Morrow. His second in the last three boxes. Bob Moran takes a seat after throwing up an even 50 on the board. Mike Morrill, on the other hand, is at 57, plus a couple of bonus balls, so they'll take a seat for now, and their teammates, Mike Poulin and Jack Gray, will step up to finish off the opening string when we come back right after this. Commitment. Experience. It all comes together when you work with the best. Master Mechanic Tools, only from True Value Hardware Stores. At the Indianapolis Speedway, or in your own garage, they're backed by True Value Hardware Stores' commitment, experience, and exclusive customer satisfaction policy. Master Mechanic Tools, exclusively from True Value Hardware Stores and Home Center. Take, it off. Take the wheel of a 1987 GMC truck before the new year and... Take it off. With the tax laws changing, this is your last chance to... Take it off. Buy now. Take the sales tax and a full first year's business depreciation off this year's return. Remember the name, GMC Truck. Remember the date, December 31st. This is your last chance to... Take it off. See your New England GMC truck dealers today. This holiday season, get the lemon lime soft drink with real juice. Get slice. We got the juice, a burst of cheer. We got the taste for this time of year. We got the juice, we got the twist. We got what's bright and seven off the best. Ten percent real juice. We got the juice, it's going fast. I have a bad cough and a cold. <laughs> no one appreciates the way Mom takes care of everyone <laughs> until Mom gets sick. What do we do now? Mom always takes care of us. That's when the person who doctors the family <laughs> turns to Robitussin because more doctors and pharmacists recommend Robitussin than any other cough medicine. Feeling better, Mom? I was. Robitussin, recommended by more doctors, pharmacists, and Dr. Mom. Okay, here we go with part two of the opening string now. Jack Ray steps up in pretty good shape since he's working on a strike, and he already owns a seven-pin lead. Mike Pullen now. Nine on the strike. 16 pin lead, halfway through the opening string. Mike Poulin is a member of the runner-up World Team Championship gang. Recently competed up in Bangor, Maine. He has a number of fine Canadian teams. Jack Ray, as we've told you in the last couple of weeks, was a member of the winning team. And Mike Morrill, Jack's partner, was a member of the third place team. So. We're well represented here by World Team Championship competitors. Nice shot. Jack Ray's first mark. It comes in the seventh. Mike said he had a lot of fun on the World Team Championships, but the, the tough thing about the competition was getting used to the Canadian bowlers who have a habit of heckling when the American bowlers were about to make their approach.
looking for another spare. And he's got it. Two in a row now in the seventh and eighth. Mike Pullen had a pretty good run about a year ago. He was on for three consecutive weeks, lost the fourth week. He teamed up with Brian Uphold at that time. And actually, Mike teamed up with Brian just by mistake. He showed up at the roll-off. His partner was nowhere to be seen. Brian just happened to be hanging around, so they teamed up, won the roll-off. Came here and won for three consecutive weeks. Mike needs a big finish in the tenth to try to scratch back into this. All right now, the challengers are down by. 29 pins. The score can be explained by the absence of marks in the left side of the scoreboard. The challengers marked in the third and then went markless thereafter. Mike gets his 10, takes the seats knowing that challengers are going to have to come up with a terrific second string. We'll take a look at the totals after the first. Our defending champions, Jack Ray and Mike Morrill, stand at 125, and our challengers, Bob Moran and Mike Poulin, 96, a big spread. We'll see if they can make up the difference when we come back for string number two right after this. Daddy, what's Vietnam? What's Vietnam? A question a child might ask, but not a childish question. A question that in the past has led not to answers, but only to other questions. What were we fighting for? Why didn't we just drop the bomb? How could we fight an enemy we couldn't even see? Did all those people die? Time Life Books and Boston Publishing present The Vietnam Experience. The series designed to answer the nagging questions. Did we win the war, Daddy? Each volume looks at the war from every point of view. No matter where you stood, you'll gain new insights into your own position, as well as those you may have opposed. You'll attend secret meetings at the White House and walk into an ambush to draw enemy fire. From Quezon to Chicago to Saigon, you'll be there, learning much you didn't know about Vietnam and much you didn't know about America. Why did we fight the war, Daddy? Call toll-free and start putting the Vietnam experience into focus with Combat Photographer. You'll see what it was like over there from a perspective the media couldn't provide. An historic perspective that only now are we able to consider. It is important that we honor and remember those who gave their lives for our country. But honoring isn't enough. Remembering isn't enough. We must answer the question, what's Vietnam, for ourselves, and for the next generation. Will I have to fight in a war, Daddy? To order your first book, call now, 1-800-221-1200. It'll be sent to you free for 10 days. Keep it and pay just $14.95 plus shipping and handling. Others will follow about one every other month. Keep the ones you want, cancel any time. So call 1-800-221-1200. All right, here we go with string number two. Bob Moran will start it off. Challengers just haven't been getting any exciting spare leaves. 
unlike the champs there. Mike couldn't have set that one up any better. Bob clips one wing off the spread eagle. And there's a spare to start it off for the champs. So the rich get richer. And the poor get poorer as Bob takes a nine. The lead is an even 30 now, plus however many. Mike Morrill throws on his first ball. Oh, there's a strike on the spare. That's the third strike that Mike Morrill has thrown in seven boxes. Too bad he couldn't have put them back to back to back. He'd be $1,000 richer. Bob Moran looking this over. 4-10. And another nine. So the champs have add, added 12 pins to an already large lead. Mike Morrill on the strike. Almost two in a row. Spare. Well, there we finally get one. The nine pin for three in a row and bonus money. No, just slid wide. <laughs> Bob Moran finally with a spare here. He spared in the third frame of the opening string and then the challengers went without a mark the rest of the way. Let's see if this is the start of something big and it might be. Looking for two in a row and he's got it. Mike Morrill is married with one son. He works for the Raytheon Corporation. Mike carries a high single of 197, a 457 high triple, and a 123 average. And an eight box. So should Bob Moran get all of them here that would tie up this string and leave the challengers 29 pins down. There's a chance here. He gets seven of them anyway. Down by 32 in the match with six to go. And he gets an unfortunate split here. Bob line judge Ralph Stewart goes down to clear some wood for us. You might notice those famous black and white shoes are gone. Ralph had his car stolen recently and the shoes were in them. Obviously the shoes were the reason why the thieves decided to take the car. Bid, but one pin short. Okay. All right, let's take a look at things halfway through the second and deciding string. 
four pin lead in this one 67 63 for the champs. Add that to the 29 pin advantage they had coming into this and we've got a 33 pin lead for the champions Jack Ray and Mike Morrill. Jack and Mike were winners. The last two weeks they're looking for their third consecutive victory here which would bring them an extra five hundred dollars. Mike Poulin went his first five without a mark. He's one pin away of getting his first one now. All right, Mike Poulin gets his pair. Jack Ray got a break and now needs only the head pin, and he's got it. Matching marks in the sixth. But Mike Poulin has to hope four. There's a whole string of marks by him and a whole string of open frames by Jack Ray. Well, he's got his string of marks going. A strike on the spare. Jack Ray has a high single of 220. And he gets the spare. On the strike. Couple of tens. You may not have seen that last pin go down on alley four, but it did. So after eight, we have 111 to 110. The challengers leading it. Overall, they're down by 28 pins. So Mike Poulin obviously needs a string of strikes here in order to have any kind of a shot. And he's not going to get him. Twenty to one eighteen in this one. The champions leading it. The champions have won for their third consecutive week. So Mike Pullen's return visit not as lengthy as his trip a year ago when he was able to win for three consecutive weeks with Brian Uphold. shot. Mike Pullen takes a 10 and 128. Jack Ray with 10 and 130. The challengers tried to make a bid in the 6th and 7th with a couple of marks, but the champs stayed right with them. And as a result, they'll be back again another week. We'll take a look at the totals for Jack Ray and Mike Morrill, 255 for Bob Moran and Mike Pullen, 224. We'll be back with our champs and runners up right after this. Hi, I'm Gavin McLeod, and I have a very special announcement for folks here in the greater Boston area. If you or your parents are between the ages of 50 and 74, 
I'm going to ask you to make a very important telephone call as soon as this announcement is over. But first, I'd like you to meet a very special couple, Gordon and Mickey Scott. They recently heard about the Security Trust life insurance plan and called for their free information kit. Why? We worked hard all our lives to provide for our family and build our savings. Lately, we've really been concerned about what a prolonged illness and death could do to the nest egg we've worked so hard to build. We felt that additional life insurance was the answer, but we didn't think we could get it because Gordon is 71 and has had two heart surgeries. That's when we heard about this plan. They said we couldn't be turned down and that it only cost $5 a month. I can't tell you how much it means to Mickey and me not to have to worry anymore about becoming a burden on our children. That's terrific. And just like the Scots, you too can get this guaranteed coverage for only $5 a month, so long as you're between 50 and 74. We'd like to mail you this free information kit, but we can't mail it until you call for it. And that's what I hope you'll do right now. Now, it doesn't matter how many other insurance plans you've called for. Believe me, you should definitely call for this one. Here's how. Call toll-free 1-800-372-5500. 1-800-372-5500. The information kit Mr. McLeod spoke of will be mailed to you free with no obligation. So call now 1-800-372-5500. 1-800-372-5500. This is a free call. All right, we have to say goodbye to Bob Moran and Mike Poulin. Uh, no bonus money, but we do have $300 for you. Maybe that'll help take care of some of those Christmas bills, huh? Takes a little, a little bit of the sting out of it, but uh, I was telling Mike earlier, a bad day doesn't look at the calendar, so we'll be back some other time, we hope. Yeah, I thought you were going to make a run at it when you started off with two spares at the end, but it didn't help to have, uh, have Jack match you with a couple of marks. I know, a uh, big box for me was the eighth. I missed the head pin. I had a couple marks going. But that's the way it goes sometimes. You were talking a little bit before about the uh, World Team Championships up in uh, Canada and the heckling that goes on. What kind of things would they say when you get up to the line? Uh, you throw a spread eagle and they're saying, don't throw it in a hole, and then they'll tell you not to bounce the ball, and then they'll yell your name out about two seconds before you let the ball go. But uh, when, when you're with the Romans, you act like the Romans, and we get right back to them, I'll tell you. It was a war. It was a ball. We had a blast. All right, we're a little more civilized here, right? Much more. <laughs> I like it that way. All right, we'll see you guys again soon. Thanks okay, so Mike Pullen and uh, Bob Moran, and for the third consecutive week, Jack Ray and Mike Morrill are our champions here. You didn't quite have the scores. Maybe you had in the last couple of weeks, but good enough, huh? Well, uh, I guess it was good enough to win. Uh, no matter how many pins you have, you... you uh, Mike's a good ball along with Bob, and uh, you just got to keep on going because yeah. they can come back very easily. Well, what about the uh, the heckling up there in Canada? You guys were up there. Do you mind that at all? It depends how you take it. If you take it real serious, they get on you worse. You know, like if you just kind of um, take it as part of competition, then, you know, it bothers you while you're bowling, but, you know, you can just let it sink in, and it, yeah. it's a uh, good competition. You know? Okay, well, I don't imagine uh, Rick Gay and Joe Stella will do any of that next week when they're here. We'll find out. They'll be the competition next week. Uh, Mike Morrill and Jack Ray will go for four in a row. As we leave you, we remind you, have a very happy new year. For everyone at Fairway Sports World and Natick, take care now.